<laughs> well, we are in awe. We are in awe. He is an Australian acting legend whose career spans more than half a century. From a timeless comic snapshot of suburban life down under. How's this, boys? Woohoo! What do you call this? Chicken. With classic one liners still heard today. But jousted sticks. Telling me, Dream. This is going straight to the pool. How's the serenity? We're going to Barney Doom. To a hugely successful family favourite series. You must be Dotty if you think I'm going to wear that. It was good enough for Gandhi. Uh -huh. And a moving tale or two about the true Aussie spirit. He's the best full forward in the history of Udna Dada. And if he's not going to play for your mob, he's going to play for that mob over there. Michael Caton has been delighting audiences on the silver screen and small screen for more than 50 years. And Les Grimison is the winner. Yeah. I loved Rams. Oh, that was a great film. Everything he's in has yeah. been brilliant, hasn't it? Um, and Michael Caton is taking on a new project, and he joins us live in the studio. Yeah. Woo. Oh. 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 As nice you know, to see this you. is very exciting it for is. us that you're in here. How are you? I'm good, Ali. I've been holding up through the times of COVID. Mm. Um, it is it is great to see you. Um, I, I see. I reckon I've seen all of your films two or three times during this pandemic. Um, what is your, <laughs> this is the, the hardest question you're gonna have to answer today. What is your favorite? Oh, it'd have to be the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd have to be because it, it, it brought me back from oblivion. You know, I was dead in the water before the castle. See, that's interesting you say that because you're at that point thinking of maybe giving up acting and going in a different direction. Yeah. How did that role then come about? <sighs> Look, I had, Lunch with uh, uh, the mob at, uh, and I thought they were after me for Frontline. Right? Oh yeah, the um, working group. And, yeah. and, and they get, gave me a script and said, if you like this, give us a rig. And it was this perfect script. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, so I, on the Monday, I was in Melbourne. Yeah. Rehearsing. So it's one of those things. You read the script and you went. You were laughing out loud. You're going, "Oh, this is the." This. Yeah. What was it about? It just that was just so. What? Oh, look! It, look, usually I get input into a script, mm. and there was no need. Mm. There was no need for any input. It was just a beautiful, perfect script. Yeah. And they paid you three thousand bucks for it. <laughs> you, Channel Nine, have paid me more. <laughs> That's wow, we want, you, we want your manager you then. It, you play it twice a year. <laughs> uh, Three thousand dollars rolling in. <laughs> it must be um, uh, very satisfying, as well, um, given that, that even now the young kids are growing up watching that film and going, "It's part of the vernacular." Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it is it is quite amazing that it is just tap something in the psyche, in the Australian psyche. I'm surprised they haven't uh, tried to dip back into the well and make a, mm. you know, another one of those films. Well, you'd, well, you, Channel 9 tried. Yeah. To Ooh. make a series. Mm. But I thought it was just a perfect little thing. Just yeah, leave, leave, leave it. Just yep. leave it. Mm. Sometimes that is best, isn't it? You do it well, you do it perfectly, then you walk away from it. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Now, come on, you've got to talk about... We well, are, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. I know, coming. so because, you know, you, you reach a point then when you can then choose whatever role you want and you've got a new project what underway you, now. Well, I've just done a, a little short film that sort of basically says that climate change is not inevitable. And it's about three generations. It's about a baby coming home from hospital and Dad says, well, when he's my age, it'll be... Uh, you know, 2040 or 2050, and then I say at the very end, well, when he's my age, it'll be mm. uh, 2101. Mm. And what sort of a world will we have if we don't do something now? We've got um, a little clip here. Uh, let's have a look. Lily! <gasps> Lily! This is your grandma. Oh, yes. Well. She has your mouth, man. <laughs> no, it's still here. Oh. He's been oh. hanging out to get his dad took <laughs> license. <laughs> Lily, if you'd waited a couple of days, we'd be sharing a birthday. Oh. Twins. Plus the odd 60 years. <laughs> when she's my age, it'll be, um, oh, it'll be 2080. Oh.
that feels like just the last year, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, incredible cast. How good does Rachel Ward look? She's so She's talented, a bit of an all so rounder, beautiful. isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She should have dropped Brian like a dead donkey years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no comment. <laughs> he doesn't want to run into Brian. I'm not going in here. there. <laughs> That's smart. Um, hey, I, I want to know, because you first walked into Channel 9 back in 1967 to appear on the Don Lane show. How does your Today Show appearance today compare <laughs> to that moment? Well, I'm not as itchy as I was at, at Art Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> It's all the asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit going on there. Hey, it's really good to see you. Um, anything you'd like to you'd tell the audience before we move on? Yeah, well, look, I, I just think in terms of... We've got an election coming up, yeah. and it's really important. And we're not telling you who to vote for, mm. Mm. but we are saying that we don't have to have a disaster with climate change. Mm. But unless we do something now, uh, we, are, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And it's like the old Australian motto, never put off till tomorrow what you can postpone indefinitely. Yeah. Mm. And that's what I feel is happening with climate change, that there's, there's this, this inertia. We've got to get up off our backsides and do something. Mm. Mm. Enough talk. More action. Good to talk to you. Um, and it's also worth having a look if you're into the arts, which we are all um, having a look at the different policies from the different uh, parties as well, um, mm. trying to stack mm. that up, because the arts, I think, are, are incredibly important in this country. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Lovely to see you in this new surround. <laughs> Very fancy. The air is cleaner. <laughs> Just a little bit. We think. <laughs> see